In order to calculate a hip rafter's length or a valley rafter's length, their run must be considered for the calculation. In this video I'll show you in terms of concept where the run of the rafter is and how it can be visualized. So the run of the hip rafter is in the air. It's a horizontal measurement that runs roughly at the tip of my index finger somewhere there when viewed from where I'm standing. Same applies to this valley rafter there. Its run is again a horizontal measurement and it runs roughly in this direction there. The rise of the rafter is again the vertical measurement that way and the vertical measurement on the hip rafter there. So horizontal part, vertical part and they form a right angle triangle like so. When you look at it from above the run of this rafter is it has exactly the same direction as the rafter itself. It runs on a 45 degree angle precisely underneath this finished hip rafter or this finished valley rafter here. So that's how it looks when you look at it from above and the rise, now you don't see it or it cannot be shown from here, it's just a single point here where the rafter ends roughly. So that's how it can be visualize so that's the rafters rise and as the rafters run. This run is longer on the hip rafter than it is on the common rafters. The common rafters on the roof are there and they span half the building's width. Building's width is running this way on the left side and on the right side. So the run of the hip rafter is longer than the run on the common rafters. So let me show you this another way here using this box and these two cardboard triangles. The hip rafter starts from the corner of the building here and is laid out on a 45 degree angle when viewed vertically. Its rise is whatever the rise of the roof is, vertically up. So it can be wherever along this along this corner of the box here. But when viewed from above, it's a single point. When viewed from the side, the roofs, the rafters rise is whatever length. Now, on a common rafter, the common rafters run is half the length of the building, but a hip rafters run is longer. It's here, comes, comes from this corner here, runs in the air to a point mid-air, somewhere thereabouts. And then both the common rafter, represented by this cardboard triangle there, and the hip rafter, they both rise to the same height there on the ridge. If you put these two cardboards side by side or overlap them like so, you can see that they rise to the same height, but the common rafters run is just longer. This is exactly square root 2 amount longer than the common rafters run. Where that square root 2 comes from is the fact that Half the width of the building here is the common rafters run. Half the length of the building this way is also the, this is also a common rafter here, the common rafters run. So that's what's represented here by this square box. The common rafter fits this way and fits this way as well. So the diagonal of a square is the common rafters, the hip rafters run. If the side is one and that side is the same one, then the run of the rafter is square root two. The hip run is square root two of the common rafters run. So that's how it can be visualized. So here in the classroom, let me show you where this square root two comes from. 
in a square whose side length is 1 both ways for calculating or making sense of the run of a hip or valley rafter. So in math class this might have looked like something like this. So here is a triangle. This happens to be five squares in both directions along sides A and B. And using the Pythagorean theorem, which is written as A squared plus B squared equals C squared, if A is 1 and B is also 1, this is how it works, A squared is 1 squared plus B is also 1 squared is going to equal to this side here. So 1 squared, 1 squared is 1 times 1, that's 1, and 1 squared is 1 times 1, that's 2, so therefore C squared is 2, and to get C you're going to have to square root both sides, so that's why side C is the square root of 2. On a real roof with a real building span where the length of the common where the run of the common rafter could be I don't know twelve feet, twelve meters. How about just twelve? Let me do here this quick calculation. If a, uh, where do I write it? I'll write it here. If A equals 12, just 12, it could be 12 feet or 12 meters, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's half the span of the building, so that means the building is 24 units, feet, meters, whatever, wide. So that also means that B is also 12. That's the same two common rafters at the hip. Again, the ridges here, and the common rafters go on one side of the building, and the other, or the, the other side of the building, the rest of the common rafters are going this way. But there is also one common rafter where this piece of board is. So everything is twelve. Then, very simply, twelve squared plus twelve squared will equal the length of the hypotenuse or the hip run in this case 12 squared is 144 plus 144 will equal the length squared that's 288 for C squared and if you square root 288 then we get the length of the hip run. So on the calculator, this looks like this, 288, actually on this one, square root button first, and then 288, oops, that's 28, start again, 288 equals that number, 16.97 units, like feet or meters. Now, this can also be generated by just using square root 2, knowing that C is going to be 12 times square root 2. It can be entered this one 12 times square root 2. Same number. So you can just use square root 2 without going through this calculation. As many meters or feet you have for half the building span here times that number by square root 2. Now your calculator might work differently and in terms of how you enter the numbers but that's another story. The math works.